what is going on ladies and gentlemen your, your boy hunter x here bringing us another episode of ftb sky odyssey if you're new around here click that subscribe button and let's get into today's episode all right guys so in between episodes i went ahead and made the rest of the upgrades for our woot farm so this baby is now trucking along it needs 58,000 RF per tick for 300 ticks. And yeah, so we have two of these bad boys now running, giving it about 80, about 92,000 RF per tick, which is not bad at all. This thing's been running all for a couple hours. So let's see what, we'll, let's, let's check today. No game over crates just yet. It's going to be a while until we get those, probably, if I was to have a guess. So, we have a couple things that we can work on today. And I think one of those things is finally going to be moving our power system over to Draconic Evolution. Now, I'm, not, I, I, I'm a huge fan of this mod. This mod is probably my favorite mod especially for power storage because when you get the tier 8 energy ball it's just so op um and it's not that expensive either it really isn't like when you retrospect it and look at it it's actually pretty cheap like we're gonna go ahead and grab so that's 18 stacks of draconium. That should be more than enough for the uh, thing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to fly above my base. And we're going to put it above my base. I'm going to go ahead and put it above my base. And your incoming tick accelerate this. Tier all the way up to tier eight and assemble and done. That is the draconic energy ball for you in a nutshell in like two seconds. It's crazy. We're gonna grab some cobblestone. Oh, don't get me wrong, we still gotta make the stabilizers. actually aren't terrible to make believe it or not they're actually pretty easy to make so one two three four five i always like to do them like that and then five apart on each side right and now for this, we're going to need a couple stabilizers because I think it's anything above tier three or four really needs the upgraded uh, stabilizers, which I mean, to make them, it's actually pretty easy just to uh, take these energy stabilizers and put them on a, on a three by three like this. And that will then make form a multi-block ring like that, which is so cool, in my opinion. And then same thing for this side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain our entire flux network into this. Right? Our entire flux network is gonna go inside this orb. This orb can hold nine quintillion RF. Which is basically, if you're not playing with creative items, it's physically impossible to fill. Right? And then we take these, break them all apart, like that, and do a little bit of that activation. Take our glass, place our glass down, just like that. 
and then watch the magic. Watch the magic. Uh, one point, one plug. And then that plug is going to be going to a output network. That's the wrong one. That's going to go there. Generators network. Go. And 21 million RF per tick. They're going to be set to output. New network. And we're just going to say uh, Hunter X Ball Out. Click that. Click that. These at this point should be empty. There should be no more energy in any of these. So we just got to change over a couple of points. And then that's it. We're no longer needing to be on the generators network. There is no point to being on the generators network. Because all the power is going into the ball. Right. And then I gotta I gotta set up all these in our refined storage system. You should th you would think I'll do that one first because that one's kind of like storing all of our items. You know. I like to cause chaos for myself. What can I say? There you go. Our system's not offline yet. How is our system getting power? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. 200 something R for tech. Not bad. Anything over here require power? Not that I can remember. The only thing that requires power. Actually, no, because that's, that's using a Spectre Coil. So, I don't. Oh, all of these over here need power. So, let's set this up to be correct. And then kind of paste them all like that. And boom. Oh, all these over here too. That needs power. I believe that's getting power underneath. Okay. The iconic or the Dragon Ball orb of Dragon Ball. That's not needed anymore. I need to switch over this network. We ball out so it can charge my my stuff. So yeah, now we're doing quite a bit of power. We're actually not gaining even with our our uh, thing running here, which is insane. Oh, the hell did these things get under here? All right, fair enough. So I mean, it's running. It's running real smooth. Everything's running real smooth right now, which is what we like to see. All right, none of this is actually needed anymore. So good. We've got that bad boy up there. Did we get anything that I care about? Yeah, one game over crate. And we get the electric, the awakened magnet. I'll take that. Even though we're not going to use it. I'll take it. It's pretty cool. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so. The next thing of business. 
I feel like. Is we really do need to take care of this EMC. Like, problem. Um. What do we have in the way of ore processing? I mean, we got a lot of ores here. We got emerald ores. Hmm. I mentioned a shard, geranium. We got iridium seeds. Wait, where, when did we get these? Oh, you know what? Imperium. Okay, the growth accelerators. I can make these now, right? The 126 that we need. Yeah. Um, what is something that I can put Fortune 3 on? Ooh, the block. The block. Ooh, actually. You know what? No. Refined storage. Refined storage might be the way to go for this. Actually. I have an idea. I have an idea. And I'm hoping it's gonna work. Pretty good idea. Alright, so I need... Can I just craft a Fortune 3 upgrade directly? I can. Okay. So if I can craft this directly, I already have a Fortune 3 book too as well. So that's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? That's right. Because I made it on accident. That's right. That one time I made that Fortune 3 book on accident. It's actually proving to be pretty useful right now. Alright, so now we're going to want a constructor. A constructor from refined storage. Constructor and destructor. Two very important blocks. I have, I has an idea. Destructor, constructor, all right, the constructor, is gonna go right there, okay, so the constructor is gonna go right there. Facing upwards. Alright, I need you to be make an Ethereum ore. I need you to learn Ethereum ore. And I also need you to be automated in a semi intelligible way. So this can now take and place down inferior more. Yes. Okay. And now I need a destructor. This is gonna be this is gonna be awesome if this works the way I think it's gonna work. And I hope it does work the way I want it to work. Fortune upgrade. Get three speeds. Oh 
Oh god. I think I broke the game. Dude, I, I'm getting so bad FPS. God. I wonder if it's because of that. Okay, stop that. Um, oh, is my number two on my, my keyboard? Okay, that's not good. I lost it. I lost the sixteen. Three AK. It actually, might be this that's causing it. Nope. Yeah, something is caught. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Damn. Okay. So if that's not gonna work, what if we did like a block breaker? Um. This. From industrial foregoing. Now, does industrial foregoing now industrial foregoing does have a a fortune upgrade, doesn't it? Yes. Ooh, but it needs pink slime. Okay. Hmm. So that's kind of like out of the question, huh? Damn. That would have been really dope if we could use that. But does fortune really matter? Kind of? I'm trying to think of a, a way that we can get easy pink slime. I mean, I guess setting up something over here. Like a mob crusher? Oh no, it's the mob, the mob slaughter factory. That we need. Mob slaughter, the mob crusher gets us something completely different. Which I mean, I would ideally like to have that stuff. Be able to duplicate mobs, but. And then. I actually need to get in there. Because we need to get a, a point on the front. Damn. Sacrifice in the way. Alright, so that's probably not the best spot then. Skeleton's really getting on my nerves. Uh. 
Um, it says max 40R for tech. So, can I use one of these? Oh, that's cobblestone. Have I really not taught you how to make stone brick yet? Wow. And it's been how many episodes? Uh, manual mill. And there's a polished stone. That's not polished stone. We'll beat this for a couple of minutes. That way we can get our stone burnt. And then stone burnt will get us what we need. Yeah, we need that. That stone burnt life, dude. One, get us a wireless battery. And two, get us some of these bad boys. Yes. Put that there. And that should provide us with more than enough power. Oh, I need grid power for that. Okay. That's not a problem. Again, coming back here because this is going to be a set and forget. It's a set and forget thing. And that's 64 G. That's that's plenty. I could probably get out got away with the dragon egg mill, but serving one tile. Beautiful. Now I just need an add-on. I think it's a five. Right, glass panes. Glass panes are required. For that recipe, I'm just gonna do it the weird thing. I'm just gonna do a six just because six might be a little overkill. Yeah, let's let's tone it down a little bit to like maybe like a five. Five is still even too big. So that's fine. And I'm going to have two separate tanks.
One for pink slime. And one for meat. And that will that will take care of that for now. Do I not have Ender for Blue Conduits? How have I not made those yet? Oh right, I needed the diffused quartz. Don't know how I haven't made that just yet. It's not what I wanted to make. Is it four? See that or glass. No, oh, it's four. So Pink slime. I just need a couple buckets of it. You really can't lock these tanks either. But I mean, what I could do theoretically is uh, fluid, filter. If I really wanted to, like, be like, hey, make sure that this fluid only goes into this one. That would be great. I don't have to worry about, like, them getting mixed up. Now I should be able to pull up pink, pink slime and not have to worry about it. Beautiful. Fluid seeding machine. Which also needs pink slime as a whole. So I need another bucket of the stuff because <sighs> I need to freaking murderize this guy. <clears throat> oh damn, we have eight end game loot crates. Chronic Zephyr Power, Chaotic Cores, Creative Flux Capacitor, Watering Can, Reconic Foods I already have. I'll take that creative flux sponge. This is why I, this is why I love this pack so much. This pack is so much fun. I I recommend it a hundred percent. This is like what my fourth season playing this pack on my YouTube channel, except. Season 3, I never finished because the world absolutely got corrupted and broken. But, this time around, you know what I mean? I'm able to finish it. It was great. Because, I ain't going too crazy. And then that should allow me to make the fortune add-on. Which is what I wanted. By the way, this is all for one thing. And that's for getting Imperium, by the way. Now, how does this work? 
Do I need multiple? It will add fortune slash looting to the machines that accepts the add-on. It needs to be enchanted with fortune and add it. And it will use the enchant level for the machine action. Wait, what? So I had to enchant it with fortune? Fortune 3 is emerald. So you're telling me I have to enchant this. I'm just assuming it's going to be 30 levels. Not 50. 30. Look at that, 27 levels. Now do I enchant this? Yes. I do. And that's gonna be six levels. That, that boy's gonna be six levels. Okay. So, block breaker. This can do multiple, can it? Let's do a plus two. No, it cannot. Okay. Today I learned. Nope. And then this is going to place. Yes. So. Okay, both of these need power. Okay. This one. Let's get an EMC link. That's the locators. Some glowstone. Now I'm hoping this isn't going to cost too much EMC. Actually, yeah, it's going to cost 4,000 per block. But that's honestly not a lot. Now that beggars the question of can that be up can that be upgraded? I'm sure it can be. Yes. That could be speed upgraded. Not bad. And I might want to put some energies into these bad boys. Just saying.
that's going by pretty quickly. How much Imperium do you think we have now? Oh, dude, we're gonna have all the Imperium. That's going, that's going up quite quickly. To be fair. Out of curiosity. How fast do you think that's going up now? Not going up that fast, but it's going up pretty damn quick. If you ask me. It's not going up that quick, but it's going up. And that's all that kind of matters. Alright guys. Unfortunately, it is time to wrap up today's episode. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, Please do me a huge favor, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, ding dong, ding dong that notification bell, follow me on all my social medias, become a part of the 100 tribe, I would greatly appreciate it. As always, I'm going to love you, I'm going to leave you, until next time.